It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Three Ravens Shake. It's a salted caramel milkshake IPA coming in at 6% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to Mick. Thank you, Mick, for sending me the beer. The Australian beer hero, he literally sent me beers from all over Australia. Um, this package arrived just yesterday. We had one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six beers sent to us onto the channel. So I'm going to be carrying on with this one now, getting it open into a glass, see what we get. Thank you, Mick. Good levels of smoke on the opening. I think this is my first beer from Three Ravens. Oh, oh, blimey, that's, uh, that's got a really strong aroma to it. This should be really interesting. I have had a milkshake IPA before. Uh, basically, the beer was produced with a little bit of lactose, got it kind of creamy and thick and dense. And yeah, it was really, wow, amazing in terms of drinkability, but body. But here, I haven't even looked at the beer yet. I've just looked at it now. Without looking at it, all I got was this massive waft of aroma. And I'll get to that in a moment. First of all, let's look at the beer. It's a ruby red, almost cordial, raspberry cordial coloured beer with a one finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. Let's get that all important aroma. Salted Caramel Milkshake IPA. That smells absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Stone the crows. There is so much going on that I am like, where do I start? It's got like this creamy, fudgy, milkshakey aroma somehow fudge yeah definitely like soft fudge and then the ipa part of this beer is it's there it's grapefruity it's citrusy it's, it's a bit bonkers so what i'm picking up as fudge like a fudgy aroma is is indeed what they call in salted caramel let's dive into this interesting smelling brew cheers guys oh um, yeah really interesting Yeah, it's somehow IPA on the back. It's it's a little bit bitter. There's this a touch of grapefruit. There's a touch of citrus. But the, there's so much of that kind of like salted caramel flavour coming through. And it's most definitely milkshakey. I admire Three Ravens for having a go at this, approaching it, having a go at it, trying to develop something different because we're in a crowded beer world. Uh, they've gone for something very unique, very different, quite niche. Um, this this is a beer I think you would, you would get one can of it. It's not like you grab a six pack of it. It's definitely one that you would go I want to try this beer, I want to try it because of the name, because of what it sounds like. But yeah, it's not a beer that you would want to session. I want to make that clear straight away. It's really interesting. I'm picking up touches of vanilla.
that is really tart, kind of raspberry jamish, plummy, loads of salted caramel, back over to vanilla. Bit of a thick mouthfeel going on, carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. And then, yeah, IPA flavours on the back. It's really interesting, it's a really interesting brew. Uh, beer, brew, beer. Um, I keep grabbing the can, I keep going back to the can and 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 just looking at it and, and they've gone for this wacky out there interesting take on a beer. I like it. I like it, but I would only want to drink it once over an evening. As I said, I wouldn't want to drink a six pack of it. I want to mention something because it's close. I've judged in competitions all over Europe, judged in competitions all over the UK, beer competitions that is, judging competitions for beer. And I've got, I've got a very good nose for a certain flavour and taste in a beer. Because they've gone, they've gone for this salted caramel flavour in the beer, some of you might mistake it for diacetyl. It's quite close to being diacetyl without, and this is the important bit, without it actually being diacetyl. I don't believe there's any diacetyl in this beer. Some of you, some of you might be mistaken that it is in the beer, but I just want to clear that up, the fact that it comes close but it not it isn't diacetyl in the beer. Very quickly, diacetyl is a it's an infection in the beer. It mostly occurs when the brewing process uh, is rushed and they stop the, the the they don't let the yeast completely ferment out. They stop the brew and then they either bottle it, can it, stick it in a keg or a cask, uh, and then and then there's there's problems then with diacetyl. And diacetyl gives off. And this is the confusing thing now because this is salted caramel. Diacetyl flavours are basically butterscotch, like a horrible kind of, I say horrible, some people like it. A butterscotchy, nasty taste in the beer. It runs close, as I said, but the salted caramel in the beer is not, not diacetyl. Let's rate it. It's a funny one. It's a really interesting beer. I, I've not stood here kind of like stoning the crows and, and, and jumping around my kitchen like I sometimes do. And part of me wanted to do that. It just It's just something. There's just something. I think it's just maybe a bit too wacky for my personal taste, a salted caramel milkshake IPA. It's it's a bit too bonkers for me. I'm gonna go six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Old Craft Beer by Three Ravens Brewing Company. Thank you very much to Mick for sending me the beer. Um, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.